Hi all, it's PJ and welcome to the Baby Lock Serger Preview for July. Here's the project for this month. I'm calling this a table mat. And really this month is all about a technique. So the technique is using the two thread flat lock stitch in two different ways. I am going to kind of bring this up. And I'm hoping that you can see, so this center section has what I'm calling a bridging stitch, meaning that you can see there's a gap in between here. So this center section, these seams right here, have what I'm calling the bridging stitch. But then other parts of the project, say here, have just a standard, this is basically a standard seam with the same stitch but you're not seeing the space in between. It's just a different way to use the stitches. I've got a couple of little samples here that I'm hoping that you'll be able to kind of see through. So this is what I'm considering the bridging stitch because you can actually see through those stitches. And once again, in this scenario, you can't see through that because this is actually a what I would consider closed seam, meaning that there isn't a gap in between. This is the bridging, this is closed. It's just a fun technique to be able to use. Again, you could make this any size you want. It's kind of set up like a log cabin. I started with the center section, then I added these guys, then these, and then these. Again, you could just keep going. And we're using tubes again because it's this technique works best with a finished edge. So these edges are finished because these are tubes. So the same tube technique that we did from last month. We'll be reusing that again this month, but with a completely different technique. So that's the technique this month, the bridging stitch, and the project is a table mat. Let's get started. 